guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So today we are, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and start another little series where we go ahead and finish out the Fab Five. I am now in my apartment. Get used to this nice little table. My, all my roommates are currently working or out and about. And so I stayed behind to film this video. Yay! So like I said, Fab Five. So we've already done Mickey and we've already done Goofy. So that means we have three characters left, which is Pluto, Minnie, and Donald. So today, let's start off with Minnie Mouse. Plus it's simple and it's fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is you're just gonna go ahead and draw a simple circle. And you want it to be quite big, like this. All right, next what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and figure out where her ears are gonna go. So we're gonna come on top of her ears right here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come from the top right here and I'm gonna start this backwards C and then I'm gonna come over here and start another little backwards C over here. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and these could all change eventually and I'm just gonna go ahead and give this guideline for her ear over here and then I'm gonna jump over here and finish off this ear right here, like this. Here, ear, all rhymes, yay. So then her bow is coming over and overlapping this ear and a little bit of this ear right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and figure out where the start of that black mask is. So, because she has like this black mask, that's what I like to call it, just because she has this black like overlay kind of mapping around her face. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but anyways, it looks like a mask. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw right in the middle, see how I come off to the side of the ear right here. And I just bring this down right here, and I come over to the side right there. Okay, next what I wanna do, now that I have this part, this little triangle that goes down the middle of her face, which kinda of justifies where the rest of the black overlay is gonna go across her face, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna make an oval, okay? After this oval, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna come up from right here, I'm gonna go up all the way up to the top of the paper, almost touching it right there, and then I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna go outward and then back into my oval like this. And I did totally go over her, her ear and everything, okay? Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up on the other side, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, okay, for my oval, since this is kinda coming from here, which we're all gonna adjust this later on, I'm gonna come up from behind right here. I'm gonna go up curve down, outward, and then back into my oval, like this. All right, next. Let's go ahead, get rid of some of those guidelines. I'm gonna jump in here and get rid of this guideline here, and this guideline right here. Go ahead and get rid of those. Next, let's go ahead and shape up the bow a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come inside from right here, and this is gonna come out this way. So I'm coming inside, and then I'm gonna come from right out in the middle of the bow almost, and then I'm gonna curve inward, come to that corner, meet up in that corner, and then curve back outward like that. So then what I just did is I went ahead I chopped off those two sides and it gives a little bit more definition. What I did is I jumped inside and I just went from around the edge and up like this and just give it a little bit more of an overlay. And I can go ahead and make this a little bit smaller, just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump, make this a little bit more definite. And then what I'm gonna do from this side, since I started off in the back, over here, go ahead, I'm gonna jump right off just a little bit down from my oval middle piece of her bow. I'm gonna come up like this. I'm not all, I'm not, I'm almost coming and touching up the top, but not really. And right here, I'm gonna do exactly what I did with this over here. It's just gonna look like it's overlaying like that. 
okay? And then I'm gonna come down from behind and just give this a little bit more square of an edge, see? Like that. And then I'm gonna come from the middle of my middle piece right here. And I'm gonna go like that. There. And there's her bow so far. From the middle of her face, now that we have this part of her black mask, what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and give the other sides of her black mask together. So, since, let's go ahead and figure out where the bottom of her face is. Since her face is turned down to the side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is the ridge of her nose right here. Cause we're somewhat in the middle, all right? So here's the ridge of her nose, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just give a little bit of a guideline right here for her eye. Not that big, that big. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give that oval for her eye right here. And I need, the tricky thing about Mickey and Minnie is just that you need to give them enough space for the actual like um, white, whitish part of their face. I won't say white, they're, um, they're more of a cream colored face and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down from the side. And so here's her nose, the ridge of her nose right here. And then I'm gonna jump down here. I'm gonna give her her actual nose right here. So now what I wanna do, since her face is turned downward, I'm gonna come off to the side right here and give her dimple here. And then that's when I'm gonna come over to the side right here and give her dimple right here. Now I can start adjusting a little bit more to where exactly her face is gonna be placed and everything. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and extend this out just a little bit more out this way and out this way okay that way I can start placing my black mask what I'm gonna do next since I have her her dimple here and her dimple here I'm gonna go ahead and draw that circle that bottom of the circle of the guideline line that I gave like that and then I'm gonna go a little bit above the dimple right here. I'm gonna go outward and into her smile like this. Like that. So let me get rid of some of these guidelines so you see what I'm doing. Since I got rid of some of the guidelines and everything, now I'm gonna come off to the side over here. I'm gonna come inward and then up into her bow. So there's one side of her black mask. And then I'm gonna come, like I did over here, I'm gonna come down to the side and measure up with the bottom of her nose. That's when I can go ahead and extend this a little bit lower now that I have everything mapped out. Like that. There we go, and then I can go ahead and finish off the black mask on this side of her face and then this side of her face. A little bit smaller and give more black mask to it. Like that. Now I can jump inside and finish the face off a little bit more with her eyes, of course. Now, with her eyes, they are a little bit more oval than our guidelines, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make them longer, like that, and they, and they start at the ridge of her nose, so they do have this flat, like, curve at the bottom. So I'm gonna do the exact same. Upward like this. And I'm gonna make her nose slightly a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna bring down the top ridge of her nose just a little bit more down. Like that. So, her eyes are these big ovals, but they start off small at the bottom, and they grow wider and taller from the top, as you can see. And in this particular image, her pupils are up here, like this. And what you can do with her pupils after that is give her some pretty little eyelashes. And she has three, so I'm, it's a, probably a good thing that you stick with three, like that. And to avoid confusion, you can go ahead and color in like the black parts of her face, 
like this. I'm gonna go in. You can leave a little bit of a shine for her nose. And then since it is all black, it kind of blends in together unless you want to go ahead and give it a little bit of shading. But otherwise, it's very one dimensional and it's all black and it all just bleeds in together with each other. Like that. And you can leave, you can probably go into her eyes and give it a little bit of a shine room for the shine unlike I did just to make it nice and cute and of course her bow is red or this particular image it has pink it's a pink bow with brown dots so Minnie's almost in a kind of a bashful stand, stance you know she's being cute like she usually is so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give her the top of the bashful stance and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down underneath her her bottom of the ridge of her nose right here and you're gonna come out like this and then after that you're gonna come down from this other side of her nose you're gonna come inward like this and then after that you're gonna come outward out like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off like that so we have this overlapping this piece of fabric like this and then I'm gonna come down over here like that and it's just a simple like little hill so I come down from this part of her face and I go ahead and I give her a little hill right here and then I leave this hill right here now let's come back over to this like muffin whatever it looks like a muffin to me no it doesn't I don't know anyways so I'm gonna come upward into her arm just a little bit this is her sleeve so I'm gonna go ahead and make this little hill it's a little bit of down from the piece of overlapping fabric right here and then leave this here and then I'm gonna go ahead come downward like this circle in and then that's when I'm gonna go ahead and make this part right here come outward and then I'm gonna come from the bottom of her arm down over here. Oops. So I come from the bottom of her arm that's going inward, and then this is a part of her dress right here, and it's going into her arm. And then I'm gonna come out like this, and I'm just gonna come up a little bit like this. like that for right now so I just kind of like made this loop but it almost looks like we're going to make a bell of her dress almost so back to the spot right here what I'm gonna do from this part of her sleeve I am gonna come out over here like this and then come down like this and I'm gonna go ahead and give her the belt to her dress and then let's jump over to her other arm that's tucked behind here but first, what I need to do is I need to finish off this guideline right here. So I have this part of her dress right here, belts meeting over to the side. I'm going to come inward, and I'm going to connect to the bell of a dress that we just made. And then I'm going to come out over here. I'm going to go outward, down, and in like that. And it's another arm tucked behind her dress like that and just go ahead so for the arm I went outward and in and what you're gonna do from the difference is there's a gr there's a brown strap right here because it's a pink dress with brown dots on it and so there's that brown strap right there and then here's a brown strap right here actually it's going downward like this and then of course her belt is a brown strap right here and then what you want to do is you want to come back inward from the belt and just give that little definition of her arm being tucked behind her back what I want to do next is we're just gonna do the very top of her bloomers just to make it so what you want to do is you overly want to just match up with her stomach come down like that 
And then her skirt is tucked behind there. And I'm gonna bring her skirt down just a little bit more, like that. And there you go. And then of course I can come in and shade in her, the blacks of her arms, like that. a little bit more definition there you go well there you go guys a fun easy way to draw miss Minnie mouse i hope this was helpful i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will talk to you later bye